Hey, what's up, y'all? It's King Yadaya, aka King Solomon. Staying wise in life and in these markets, you know, trying to hit them, take profits and hit these price targets, you know what I mean? So, right now we got the US dollar. Doing some analysis on the US dollar right now because I got a trade going on on odd USD. So, in a previous video, I was saying that, you know, price came up to here and it's probably going to cascade or come down just like it did before. So, so said, so done. Price is um, from this level right here. Let me pull out my arrow. Right, so from this previous congestion area where it fell off here, we got up to that area again and now we're pushing down again. So right now we had the S4, right? So like I said in previous videos, the US dollar controls all the pairs that that coincides with it like the odd usd the gbp usd the euro usd all of those are controlled really that's my observation by the us dollar you know what i'm saying so if the us dollar goes down those um pairs are gonna go up so right now we got the us dollar at the s4 level pushing down on the s4 level i got a level um a support zone set here as well and this is my upper channel resistance zone so we're not in this down channel anymore right we broke above that twice right so if the us dollar is really gonna go down it's gotta it's gotta break back in this channel right so right now we're still out this channel this is still like a a bullish kind of move to me because this could be just a retest to push further right for it to continue downwards to me it has to break back into this channel and continue going lower so um let me try and make that channel a little smaller right so you could see where it was coming down in this channel right that's how i created my channel i drew that up and we was coming down in price really moving down within this channel just back and forth back and forth that's my support line and that's the resistance line right here so as we push down we came to this point in the middle of the channel that's where i draw this support zone and we started going sideways so we broke out of the channel and we created these patterns right here and now we're pushing down we on the s4 so for me to consider this a continuation lower it has to break back in this channel or maybe I guess I could just move my resistance line up here and now we're in this down channel this way you know what I'm saying but anyway let me make that bigger again right so we're getting some rejection of the S4 right now right so Let's check out odd USD. Let's check out my trade. Now earlier today, I caught a buy from, let's see where it is. First buy entry. Oh, let me pull out my arrow. Hold on one second. All right. All right, boom. So I caught this buy somewhere around here. I forgot what time, but this was the buy entry. That was the price, All right? caught that somewhere around here i think it was when it held that support because this is my support zone here that um that green line right here that's going straight across that's my support zone right here so when it hit that line and then it pushed back up i was like all right i'm gonna take a buy entry here so i caught a buy entry right here took that all the way up to and closed at this level here i was trailing my stop heavy and like when i saw it got up to this point and it started kind of i don't know how to describe it it's just like when you look at the chart so much you start seeing where price is getting weak especially when it's pushing up right so i started to see the weakness i, I trailed my stop real tight and it just pulled back and i caught that right there so that was my take profit now you see my take profit line the green line right there right so that was my take profit right let's see 
can pull this down a little bit pull out that arrow again so now after that in the agent session a couple hours ago one second yeah so that price was holding this region here like we caught some support here so i was like wait hold on this move ain't done yet it's looking to get some more you know what i'm saying so i jumped in with another buy right here around this area you see this is where i set up um, my two to one my stop loss is down here in my um resistance area which is now support and let me fix that because when I draw my zones like this, this this red um area here, if it's if price is above that or if price is below these zones, I call it resistance. And if it breaks above, it's now support. Alright, so boom. Let me do this. Go to template. It's now support zone. Bam. Change that into green. You know what I mean? Because green signifies that's buying. When it comes down here, it's gonna people are gonna buy at this area. When it's red, that's when people are gonna sell when it hits that area. So um yeah, you know the color schemes and stuff is important just for it's like how your mind um gathers information. It's easier to just look at stuff on the chart and you know exactly what it is, you know what I'm saying? So when you're ready to make your setups and make your plays, it's like it's easy. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one, two, three. You just know exactly what to do. So yeah, caught this buy right here. So now we're in a little profit. And let me move this take profit line here so it wouldn't confuse the the whole technical analysis right now. So as I was showing you on the US dollar, it's pushing down. We kind of got a little weak rejection of the, the S4 on the um, US dollar. So right now, we got this little rejection here. You know what I'm saying? But if the US dollar continues moving down, we could get this push up to the um, the R4 and probably push up to my, um, my take profit. And that's what we want to see. We want to see that 2 to 1. You know what I'm saying? I was going to leave it like right under here, but it's not a good risk to reward you know what i'm saying because this is well what is this this is um 11 pips 11 pip stop and if i put that at the r4 it's like let's see it's only like 13 pips that's like one one to one i don't like them kind of risk um risk to rewards man like one to one and stuff like that to me that don't make no sense i'm just flipping a coin and if you keep flipping a coin one to one one to one you know what i'm saying it's like the ratio is bad it's like it's still 50 50 you know what i'm saying but if you put if you put like one to twos when you catch these it's like your wins will greatly outnumber your um your losses like in um just in how much profit you're gonna make you know what i'm saying so yeah and hopefully that makes sense you know what i'm saying so Right now I'm just in this by this by um entry right now at let's see. What's the exact numbers? So it's zero point seven 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 one zero. My stop loss is zero point seven seven six hundred and my take profit level is zero point seven seven nine three zero. Right, so yeah that's i'm just waiting for this to materialize you know what i'm saying i thought i would share this with you all this is my little technical analysis you know what i'm saying this is my vpoc line here this is where the volume point of control is to me that means there's a lot of buyers was here because you see how we reject off this level right here that green line and we keep we keep rejecting off this area right here that's where the buyers are you know what I mean? That's where people don't already put in their orders. You know what I'm saying? When it pull back, they put their orders in. I took my, my buy at this level. When I saw this kind of rejection and this, this push up here, I was like, yeah, look at this hammer candle right here, man. This is a nice, nice entry. But it did dip a little bit again, dipped a little more. So I had to suffer some drawdown. But, you know, I, put, I placed my stop way out of the way. You know what I'm saying? And it's only 11 pips and it 
it it's like a good setup because it's like I get to place my stop only eleven pips away from structure from the from the bottom of the structure, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's perfect. I ain't got to put my stop all the way down here. It's already showing rejection from right here. You know what I'm saying? So look at look at how far I put that away from this rejection zone. Right? And now we just we just gotta push up. I mean I don't like those wicks and stuff like that, but the US dollar just gotta get weaker and push down and we're gonna just we gonna just keep moving up. And the reason I took this buy again too is because look at this man, this this has been strong for a while. Look at that. Look at that. We definitely in a buy trend. Look at that. When we hit my support zone, you see these two green lines here again? Hit my support zone, boom, and we gone. Holding that 50. That that white line right there. Holding that 50 average. Boom. Boom. Just bouncing off of it. And just keep on moving forward. Now we even nowhere near the 50. You know what I'm saying? We just keep pushing up. And you know we got to we got to worry about this R4 because that's that's a significant resistance. That's a Camarilla level, you know. So hopefully we push past that. If it doesn't push past that, you know, like by then I'ma just break even my trade because I'ma break even my trade at around let's see, eleven pips right here. So when it gets to this point, let me put that level right here. Right, so that's my break even point, right? And I'm a usually I usually set like a an alert. Let's see, I just draw that up right now, set that alert, and I'm gonna type in break even trade. Alright, and when that alert comes in, I'm gonna just go ahead and move my stop up to, to break even. Or just probably under this candle right here or something like that. Just to secure a little bit of profit, you know what I'm saying? And yeah man, that's my little trade setup, you know what I mean? It's looking good. We got a correlation, we in our uptrend, we taking buys, we ain't taking no sells, you know what I'm saying? We in a major uptrend, so it's looking good man. Hopefully I hit my take profit like like um how much pips did I catch the last time? Let me see. From this level here to Let me see what was my take profit. It was somewhere around here. I forgot. Oh yeah, this was it right here. So I caught like thirty nine pips. That was a good day. You know what I mean. So hopefully we catch some more. All right, yo, it's your boy King Yadia, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets, trying to hit them take profits and targets. You know what I'm saying? So. Stay around, man. You know what I mean? Drop a comment. I'm going to keep getting better at this. And, you know, follow my journey, man. And hopefully you join me on the journey and learn to trade as well. And, you know what I mean? Let's find some financial independence in this life. You know what I'm saying? All right, your blessings.